Welcome back to another episode of Learning with Levi, the show where it's not going to burn today, so you're not going to learn crap. Today, we're going to go rando knotting. I've been seeing a lot of videos on the YouTubes, and uh, basically it's this app that sends you to a random location, and all these people on YouTube seem to have these strange and interesting journeys, a lot of times resulting in hobos with knives chasing them and things like that. And I think the majority of it is staged. So we're going to give it a shot today. We're going to see if we can find anything interesting. And uh, being as that we're out here in rural Alabama, we will be armed because uh, it may put us on a uh, mountain lion or something like that. So, But we're going to go random nodding, see if we can find anything interesting. Maybe they'll send us to an Indian burial ground or something like that. Who knows? But I seriously doubt we're going to find a hobo with a knife that will chase us. I think that might actually be like the best case scenario. <laughs> my my genuine expectation for this is that we're just going to spend the next like 45 minutes just driving to random places and nothing is going to happen. Yeah, I, I agree. But uh, I want to read you some of these things here on the app. Uh, this process uses theoretical mind matter interaction paired with quantum quantum entropy to test the strange entanglement of consciousness with observable reality. And if you can't tell what that means, that's because it doesn't mean a thing. Yeah, it's a load of horse shit. It's just a bunch of buzzwords that they slap together to make it sound more interesting. What it is, is it's a GPS. It's a GPS app that sends you to random place. However... There have been news stories about people finding very strange things, including, wasn't it two different groups of people in the Seattle area that found dead bodies? Yeah, I think uh, it sent them to a beach or something like that, and somebody found a dead body cut up in uh, and placed into a suitcase. it was two suitcase. bodies. Yeah, it was two bodies. It was in, su it was in one suitcase, though. It's a big suitcase. I guess. Or they cut it up really small. But yeah, I, I doubt we're going to find anything like that. Well, maybe we'll find some deer poop. That'd be exciting too. Oh yeah. Oh my God, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, uh, we're going to go plug in some stuff into this and we'll get back with you all when we're approaching our first destination. I want to see some boogie mans. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> Naked ladies and and balloons and balloons balloons. That's as weird as you can get. I've got a thing for balloons. It just sounds like a birthday party at a strip club. I've got a thing for balloons. Okay. Jesus, don't judge me. I mean, balloons are pretty nifty. They are. We're gonna find uh, what's what's the clown? Pennywise. Pennywise. Doesn't he have a balloon? Yes. But he's not a naked lady, so... Uh, maybe. He could be. Doesn't he shapeshift? Fair point. Well, there's there's houses. Well, I've been this way before. We can trespass. Really nice houses. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot to mention that we are going to... Uh, we're going to have some rules here. The biggest one of which is if there is a fence or a gate of some sort, some indicator that it is private property, we will not go on it. Yeah, I guess we make this right. Can we even drive in there? Uh, yeah. Okay. I can drive 340 miles. We're going to find an anomaly somewhere. There's got to be one in this state. Hang it righty. There's no parking here. Well, I'm going to keep moving. Yeah, buddy. All right. Well, our anomalous experience is that we don't have a permit to go where we're going. Yeah. You know what, Rando Not? You suck. Yeah, this app is dumb. Yeah. Well, it's telling us to go like right here. Yeah, it's telling us to go straight. That's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to pull some Dukes of Hazard shit. And see, this is somebody's house. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a bust. Okay, so we've generated a new point. Cause that first one was wildly disappointing. The first one Turn was off. restricted access. Turn left onto South College Street. So, yeah, we couldn't even go in there. But now we are going to some place that may be slightly more promising. It looks like uh, 
there's some public roads that lead to the general vicinity and then uh, we might be able to get out and just walk out to the point. Yeah, and I, was, like two I, was locations I was expecting this. a day of adventure and excitement and I think it's gonna turn out to be a day of disappointment and wasted gasoline. Turn right onto Cox Road. But I'm trying to stay optimistic. We get it, Karen. Shut up. It's your f you have it turned on. I know. <laughs> I don't know how to make it stop. A quarter mile turn left. What we're supposed to do in this fucking trailer park? I don't think this is gonna bode well. Somebody's fucking house? I mean, I know there's some sketchy shit that happens in trailer parks, but. I mean, what the I hell? I feel like we are the sketchy shit that is happening right now. Yeah. We could steal a horse. That's still a hanging offense in the state of Alabama. Is it really? It is. That's awesome. I would like to be hung. So, yeah, this just takes us. No shit takes us to somebody's house. And, no, it takes us to their backyard. So How is this not private property? It is. It is definitely private property. No, I want weird shit. Not private property. Not restricted access. Not private property. We're gonna get shot at it. Who am I? Lewis and Clark? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me left or right. It's a cloudy day. I don't know where west is. <laughs> it's a cloudy day. Because that matters. Yeah, because I can look at the sun and be like, okay, well, that's there. It's, so. it's almost noon, so the sun would be almost directly overhead. <laughs> I could look at the sun. That's north. <laughs> well, yeah, haven't you ever seen a map? North is up. <laughs> Very true. Very true. All right, so we are now coming down the National Forest Road. Very bumpy, very overgrown. See, this is what I was expecting. Some real explorer stuff. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, about to find the Northwest Passage. Or a hillbilly with a chainsaw. Yeah. Either one's fine by me. And a long forgotten lonely cairn of stones. Okay. You don't know that song? Nope. I like it. I'm getting the distinctly foreboding feeling that we shouldn't be here. <laughs> Probably about what? 20 minutes now, and we still have yet to actually reach the point. So this thing has taken us way into these woods, and I'm beginning to suspect that it is doing so for no reason whatsoever. So we have taken ourselves a little lunch break after our fruitless adventure in the woods. And now, we are prepared to do some further adventuring using our favorite vibe detecting application. All right, so we are on a dirt road and we are not sure if the road is private or not, but it appears that all the property around us is. We've got one and a quarter miles until we come to a dead end of this road. This may surprise no one watching, but there's quite a lot of dirt roads in rural Alabama. Yes, quite a lot. And it appears there's it's a, a gate. It's a gate, but there's no signs. There's no signs that were posted within the last 40 years. Yeah, keep trekking, let's see, because this gate looks uh, very unused as well. Yeah. The lock's been cut. This, this is, might, might be the time where we find some shady stuff. All right, so there's a utility utility lines running down this road, so this would be public access. Oh, look, it's the Amber Waves of Grant. Oh, my goodness. Now, if we can just find the Purple Mountains Majesty, we can get our bearings. It's a shooting house up there for hunting and whatnot. We're probably back on somebody's hunting property. <laughs> What's in season right now? Turkey. 
I don't know. We'll come back to you here in just a minute when we get to the end of the road and let you know what we think. It appears to be that there's a nefarious and notorious turkey around these parts. And we're going to find him. Wait, that's not what that says. That's super disappointing. What does it say? <laughs> $500 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of persons illegally hunting or killing wild turkey. Okay, so they can't hunt turkey out here, so we're not about to get shot. So. Help us to help the wild turkey. All right, so we made contact with a gentleman back in here, and uh, again, Rando Nautica sends us back onto private property. And we are deep into private property. Like, probably about at least half a mile. Uh, I would say at least two miles. He said it's from the last white house up there. All the way back here is private property. And granted, there were no signs, but I'm pretty sure one of the things that the app tries to do is not put you on private property. Which, uh... It's done a lot of. Yeah, I mean, the, the gentleman we spoke to mentioned that people usually can't even find this place when they intend to go here and put it in their GPS. So it seems like the nefarious things that we are finding via Randonautica is Randonautica itself. Yes. it. This is a very odd app. It, it seems to want to get us trespassed. Yeah, this I is... Probably put on my seat up, make Big George shut up. Yeah, safety first. And last. And last. And in the middle, if you need it. <laughs> but, so, yeah. I mean... Oh, but oh, we're coming up on this. Yeah. We did see this. The most interesting thing we've seen all day. Here, pull up and stop. Let me roll this window down. What we have here is some beehives. Ooh, spooky. But yeah, that's the most interesting thing we've seen today, is a couple of beehives. I but mean, the guy that uh, that we stopped and talked to was nice. He uh, he didn't seem like he was ready to pull out a gun and shoot us for trespassing, so, you know. Yeah. Well, there we go. Rando, Rando Nautica sent us to meet a nice guy. Didn't get his name, though. No. No. But at least we had today. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get back out of here, get back into society, and I'm going to try to find another location, and hopefully this won't be private property. We'll catch up with you here in just a second. We've got ourselves a new point up. It's sending us like two miles down the fucking road, and the point is on the road. I'm starting to think that this app is a load of horse shit. Uh, I thought that from the very beginning. But it uses uh, witchcraft and physics. Those are the same things. Hold on, in a quarter mile, our destination will be on the left. I, I very much doubt that. <laughs> it's, the, it's, the, it's the fucking duty plan. By definition, a, a destination is where you're trying to go, and I'm not trying to go to any of the places that it has taken us. There, it's... Your destination is on the left. Bruh. Bruh. Let me get this some bit. It's taken us to a water treatment facility. That is our destination, is a turd plant. Just keep driving. We're not stopping here. I, I just want one fucking hobo with a knife. That's it. Is that too much to ask for, Andrew? Apparently. God Didn't damn. it recommend that you don't use this app in cities? I don't know. I thought I saw that somewhere. I think I read it. Because I looked I looked the app up on Wikipedia. And I think it said it's recommended not to use it in cities. But that seems to be the only way you would find anything happening at all. Alright, so we have come up on our last, or our latest pin. And already there is something interesting here. It put it right off the side of the road. There's a uh, concrete pad here. How is that interesting? I don't know. Maybe it means there's a house here or something. Look, we. we Ooh. Ah. Yeah, we've already established this app sucks. 
Appears to be Looks like part a, of a sh yeah, an shed, shed or something. An old shed, paint can, paint roller. Oh, the remains of a, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it's a barbed wire fence right there. Uh, what the hell? Tis a cross! That's a bit eerie. Ow, oh, shit. That's a bit briery. It would appear that it's a grave. There was something, some type of like nameplate or something on it right there. But it is no longer there. So, well, don't step on well, it. Well, shit. Let me get off the grave. That is wildly disrespectful. I'm a wildly disrespectful guy. Okay, so we found a, a grave. I mean, that's not bad. It's something. That is far more than I expected. Yeah, it's something for sure. Uh, it took probably loading in. 10 or 12 different points to get here, but maybe our luck's turning around. Let's, uh, yeah, there ain't much else here to look at. Let's, let's go back to the truck and, uh, go to another location. Maybe our luck's turning around. All right, so we set a new point, and it took us about two miles down the road, and it's somewhere out in this general vicinity. Let's see if we can make our way through this privet and all these briars and see if there's anything interesting back in here. There's a bunch of bottles and stuff back in here. What appears to be a couple of old refrigerators. Oh, there's a ton of them. I think this was an ancient Indian drinking grounds. Oh, well, these look really old. Yeah. Now, this in here is an old uh, bench seat from a car. And there's a rim over yonder that may have been from that same car. Man, that's a lot of bottles in here. Real oh, good. I don't know, but it don't want to come out of the ground. Oh. Wow. Conduit and some outlets and light sockets. Wow. Good job, Renzonica. You found trash. <laughs> some more old ass appliances. Hell, that looks like a stove over there. So basically, this is where people dumped off all their bottles and appliances when they were done with them. You know, back in the Native American days and whatnots. Okay, so I guess uh, two out of ten ain't bad. It is, though. I mean, statistically, it's it's terrible. Yeah, especially considering that five out of the ten were private property. One one point was actually in the middle of a body of water. Before we go, I would like to say that. This location and the last location with the with the little grave plot, I guess, and the old shed. These are actually places that me and Andrew knew about. This we didn't plug these into the app. So 
I guess what I'm saying is if you're within 10 kilometers of us and you want to know where something interesting is, just ask us. Don't bother downloading this shitty app. Beyond that, the app sent us out in the middle of a national forest to find nothing. And then the rest of it was private property. But yeah, ran Rando Nautica, it's a load of shit. And all these people on YouTube and, uh, and TikTok that upload all these videos talking about how they had such strange experiences. I think it's all staged. I think it's all a load of shit. And uh, now, statistically speaking, I think when I downloaded the app, over, over 3 million people had downloaded it. So, statistic, uh, statistically speaking, somebody's going to have a strange experience. I mean, it's, it's just bound to happen with that many people using the app. But for these people to go out, like almost every night, go to four or five different locations and have a weird experience every night, I, I just find that to be bull crap. I think that most likely their experience would be just like ours, where it sends them to private property. You know, just about every time. So, yeah. Rando Nautica. Zero out of five stars on my on my uh, charts. What do you think? Yeah, I would give it a zero out of ten though. Oh, I, I like a little more nuance. Okay. In my rating system. Okay, I feel you. Well, I'd give it a uh, I'd give it a one point one out of ten because at least we got to spend time together. Yeah, and we didn't make any new friends, so that's always something to yeah count your blessings about. Yeah. See, I was really hoping for some weird shit, but. This is what you, this is what we get, and this is what you get. Yeah, don't waste your time with this crap, and uh, don't believe any of that crap that you're seeing on YouTube and TikTok. None of it's real; it's all staged. Yeah, load of crap. But with that being said, we're gonna sign off. This has been another pretty boring episode of Learning with Levi, the show where nothing was burning, so there was no learning. We'll see you next time.